Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with my dress up darling episode number six reaction. All right, the previous episode, it was a great episode, you know, like they go to the cosplay convention and, um, you know, Marin is already like, you know, dressed up as Shizuku Tan. They kind of do the whole, like, you know, the cosplay thing and like, you know, people are taking pictures and everything. Everything's going pretty well. Uh, but Marin kind of has a little bit of problem with her dress, you know, like because she kind of <laughs> put more stuff in her dress. That's why it's kind of, you know, uh, not fitting well with her. So he, she had to like, you know, excuse herself. And there was that whole section of like, you know, her like <laughs> um, Gojo actually f fixing her dress and kind of like, you know, doing like, you know, kind of stitching it up properly. And uh, like, you know, we see like, you know, like, and we also see like her dedication in like, you know the cosplay like she even did the markings you know in her uh skin uh, which obviously which is uh which shows that since the character that she cosplayed she's got uh, she like you know she had those markings that's why like you know it kind of shows her dedication towards that character and she how she wanted to perfectly pull the cosplay off even though it was kind of embarrassing like you know that marking now <laughs> <laughs> and um everything kind of goes and while in during this time gojo kind of thinks about like what's going to happen after this like that's the end we can't talk anymore this and that he was thinking about all this stuff so while going back um myron is like okay um when will we start the next one <laughs> and gojo's like wait do you have more and she's like yeah 50 of them <laughs> oh my god like that was funny <laughs> and yeah obviously this kind of shows that like and even if even if there's like no cosplay left i'm pretty sure they're going to hang out you know because like this is like a friendship you know like this is not because like you know she's not talking to him because he uh does the dresses for her obviously but not because of that mine is not that type of a person so yeah and then like the the what can i say the the spotlight of that episode um as we saw before gojo said that the word beautiful like holds immense meaning to her so he usually doesn't use it but here, when she, he was going asleep, he kind of remi got reminded of, uh, you know, like Marin in her cosplay. And he said, like, uh, yeah, you're beautiful. And that, like, you know, got Marin completely. <laughs> Let's see what happens in this episode. I doubt he'll remember that, but Marin will definitely remember that forever. So let's start. This is episode number six of My Dress Up Darling. So I'll be putting the subtitles in the time right here. Sync it to whichever is your preference. And let's get started. Okay, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. There you go. Oh boy. <laughs> She's like Nani? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I got a face. For real. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. For the washing art. Right. Is this a laundry? No, no, it's his house. Okay. Okay, she's acting pretty normally. Okay, she is blushing, I see that. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, there you go. Oh no, they're coming back. Oh no, he's going to get another shock. Oh my god. Um, I don't... Okay, no, I don't think that's how it goes, but still. Okay, yeah, another shock. Incoming shock. Brace for it. Okay, don't fall this time. Don't... <laughs> 
Don't don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. Okay, the the door held him. The door held him. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah, the dress. Hmm. What? Oh! <laughs> oh damn! This is kind of interesting, like, it's unusual, like, the girl actually realizes. Usually, they don't understand up until the final two episodes or something. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> okay, eat some food first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that looks good, my god. Anime food, as always. You're a god. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, what does she do? Oh my god, she, she ordered steak out. Oh my god, that's... Oh no. That's very unhealthy. Don't do that every day. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So his name is Wakana Gojo, okay. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, well, so this is how this is going to go. So she she knows what like, you know, like, she understands that she likes him, but he probably wouldn't up until the end. Which kind of is interesting. I thought the opposite will happen, but the reverse would happen. You know, like, he would, you know, start liking him and she wouldn't understand that. Oh my god. Yeah, he would probably faint. <laughs> okay. What the? Oh 
Oh my god, he's going to... Oh, I thought he was going to, like, you know... Run into her or something. Oh wait, this is that girl from the opening, I think. A new character, I think? Yeah, yeah, it's that girl from the opening. Oh damn, wow, that's a very late opening, okay. This girl. But then I can see another person with her. Probably her sister or something. Because they their hair color is same and they look same kind of. Alright, so here's another thing. Um I was thinking like the opposite was going to happen, you know, like Gojo like I we kind of saw like Gojo being a little interested in her from the beginning. So I thought like, you know, like she was going to like, you know, understand that, yeah, she likes her and it would take time for her to understand, but realize that like, usually that's what happens in these type of shows. You know, one person realizes another person. Oh my God. Sorry about that. <laughs> one person realizes it early and another person, it takes a little bit of time to understand and realize. It's interesting to see that Marin actually realized her feelings first. Friend? Wait, he knows her? Why is he calling her friend? Gojo doesn't know any other girl, like... <laughs> yeah, he's like, what the hell? I don't even have any friends. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> he's like, I'm gonna go on. <laughs> Corn artist. <laughs> Burglar scheme. No, don't do that. Okay. Like. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Okay. You should probably close the door. <laughs> whoa, whoa, what the? What's happening? <laughs> I love the way they censored the whole thing, you know, like his eye pupil was the censor to the oh my god. Close the door. Wow. This is awkward. What? Oh wait. No, no, no. He's, she's talking about cosplay. I think she probably went to the cosplay convention and saw Marin or something. Oh my god. Hajina Inu. <laughs> First year. Oh my god, this misunderstanding. She's like, what the? <laughs> wow. 
Uh. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah, this is kind of... <laughs> oh, oops, what is... Oh. <laughs> She's like now interested in it, you know? She came here for cosplay, but... <laughs> He's like, yeah. He's like, I, I came here for something different. <laughs> All right, she, she so you went to the convention. Or oh my god, she's thinking. Personal request from a friend. Oh no! She's going to- oh my god. Okay. <clears throat> um, lady, do you know the meaning of that? <laughs> oh my god. Which? <laughs> Juju? She came in and she... A nickname or what? Oh wait, oh my talked about her. Oh yeah, this okay, the same girl. There you go. Oh my god, mine's gonna freak out. She'll be like she'll be like what? Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. How did she know that? What? 312 likes. That's still quite a lot. Oh wait, she went again. Yeah, she went there. Oh my! Wait, she was also. <laughs> okay. Well. Yeah, there you go. She's gonna freak out. <laughs> Taju Os, Juju. <laughs> Cosplay goddess. Wow. <laughs> mm. Oh my god, she's not even listening. Well. Look at him just Nikaido Shion, Black Lily. Okay. Uh. Oh, the, okay. We see this in the opening multiple times. Protagonist. 
ओके महोश हो जाने में ओह माय गॉड दिस इज जस्ट दैट गर्ल फ्रॉम नेओन Neon and Shion. We are watching an anime instead of an anime. What the hell is this? Madoka magic or something like what? <laughs> okay. Oh my god this is just like Madoka Magica oh my god what the hell that little thing is like cube um neon no, neta ma <laughs> Ah na na na. She's a hardcore fan. Who need that man? Wait, what? Um. Oh my God, yo! It's like the shipping thing. Oh, okay. Even the pet has oh. Don't get into this. Sh okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh. Yeah, because I think like you know the height and everything. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, but she wants to do it perfectly. Okay. Um Oh, okay. I was like, "What's happening? <laughs> Why is she pissed?" <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. Okay. Damn, that's a lot of tissues. Hmm. Oh, she thinks that they're okay dating. Oh boy. Eh. <laughs> oh boy. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> she wants to be the older sister. Oh. 
Oh boy, that was yeah. I was thinking like maybe Shion is uh, not Shion. Sorry, <laughs> I'm mixing all the names up. Maybe mine is going to cosplay the elder sister. That is Neon. I think that was, yeah, that was the name. But what was her name? Juju. Yeah, I forgot her actual name. Uh, Juju just shut it down. Like I was thinking like she was going to cosplay the elder sister because in the opening we have her. Uh, you know in that uh, in, in that cosplay, you know that that little hat with the heterochromic eyes So I was thinking she was going to cosplay neon, but maybe not I don't know maybe we'll see Wow, so Gojo basically got like <laughs> Like what can I say like it's like can just make like a business of this, you know like making these cosplay stuff and everything like if if um Juju actually wears the dress that he makes and since she's quite popular I'm definitely I'm pretty sure a lot of people will ask Juju that oh where did you get this dress from and obviously she's going to say like oh like this person made it from me and he can like make a business out of this completely but obviously he won't do that because we know like he's doing this just for Marin and like you know a few other people and you know like his main there you go his main goal is making stuff for the hina dolls and that's what he's going to do i'm pretty sure of that he's, he's definitely not make, going to make this like a uh, business type of thing or something but i'm just saying you know like he can probably make some like you know like a business of this or like you know just you know make cosplay dresses and <clears throat> you know like uh, for other different cosplays and everything and it, 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 he can do it but i'm pretty sure he won't <clears throat> but yeah all right so this episode here we get introduced to a new character um okay but before that first of all uh we get to see how marin took that whole scene with you know where she actually says that oh you're beautiful you know that whole scene how she takes that now as i said i just i, I said this while reacting as well um i'm pretty surprised that she actually realized like <laughs> like i've been accustomed to characters like like you know you guys must know you know like like the, the shows that we actually watch um uh, like the, the the popular ones for example kaguya sama um you know like uh but you know what in kaguya sama they actually know you know that both the main characters like kaguya and um what's her name his name shinomiya yeah i think shinomiya that was his name uh, both of them knows realizes that that yeah they like each other so okay kaguya sama can be like you know excluded from this but a few other shows like you know that kind of like you know like 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 they they don't realize like you know most of the shows they don't realize like what's happening they they do know that yeah like uh but when they realize you know it's it's kind of late in the like you know story i was extremely surprised that this happened so quickly and this is what episode six episode six yeah this usually happens like in the climax of the first season you know like the first season is almost ending and the character actually realizes that ah i like that person that's how it actually goes and i'm, I'm very surprised that mine realized this in like the sixth episode like wow <laughs> that's like a world record i can say <laughs> yeah. but yeah like i i do know like you know other other shows which uh where like the characters actually like I've seen like I I do remember seeing like animes where like the main characters like confessed in the first episode or something. Yeah, I've seen those as well. But <laughs> still it is quite rare seeing the progression happening so quickly. Now, as I was saying, I was I was under the impression like what was going to happen was Gojo was going to realize, you know, like he likes her and Marin wouldn't realize that. And that's how this was going to go, you know, and eventually Marin was going to realize and then you know, all that stuff. I was I thought like it's going to go in that direction, but it surprised me that mine actually realized first and Gojo is kind of oblivious to this whole thing. Like he's embarrassed whenever someone like tells like, oh, you're going out together or something. He's embarrassed definitely, but he doesn't realize that, you know, like I also probably like her. So that thing. So yeah. Um I was pretty surprised. Like <laughs> Alright, so here the the first scene obviously like, you know, they go to his house and like you know he was talking about how to wash stuff and everything and here's where um Marin realizes that oh i really like him 
and um, <clears throat> now <laughs> the grandfather comes in and the grandfather was going to get another like you know shock but thankfully <laughs> he handled himself pretty well this time and you know like he gets you know like explain what the hell is actually happening and he's like oh so that was what was happening okay i understand and um yeah now the gojo talks to him about what he's doing this and that and marin just like you know just looking at him and she's like oh this is <laughs> like you know like i really like him this and that she was just monologuing inside her head <laughs> and uh, yeah and then he, then like you know like they kind of have a little dinner and that was oh here like an important information comes out um we get to know that marin uh marin's mom has also passed away i think that's what she said yeah and yeah and and the dad is outside like you know transferred somewhere else because of the job so she like you know lives here alone does stuff alone now <clears throat> i'm pretty sure most probably the dad probably would have i think must have said that oh i'm tr transferring here like you know like you can't do anything about jobs you know like this is like his livelihood so if your like you know boss says that oh you are getting transferred to this place obviously if you have to do that like you know this is like your livelihood so i'm pretty sure something like that happened and i'm i'm, I'm pretty sure like the dad probably told marin that you know let's go like you know you join me you know and uh, like you know, let's transfer to that place but i'm i'm i don't know i i think most probably mine refused because you know like school and everything friend circle so that's why that's why you know like he's she's leaving here alone while the dad is outside i think it's probably something like that because as far as i could gather the dad seems like a nice person you know like i like i was kind of thinking like maybe this is like one of those stories where you know like um what can i say like uh the dad is does not go, get along well with the daughter or something and like you know like he's transferred somewhere else this time probably some family trouble i was thinking maybe he's going to go in that direction but I, as far as i like you know saw the whole thing and with you know like when she was talking about her dad with the little like you know little there's like a side little picture of her dad where her dad was saying i'm so sorry marin you know that probably shows that now nah, everything's fine you know that that the, the dad and the like you know and her like relationship is probably okay you know it's it's not one of those relationships where like oh the like you know the like the the dad does not care about the daughter i was thinking you know like i don't know why but i suddenly thought like it might go in that direction but no it's probably not something like that but yeah and uh, that's what i'm trying to say here and she says like oh like i just like you know i don't <sighs> I can't cook like every day. I don't cook every day. I just bring out food from outside. And the thing that she showed as like dinner, like the sausage and like the greasy stuff, like every each and every day for dinner, if you eat that, oh boy, like that's not good for your health at all. Like uh, he, she does say like I eat yogurt, but I don't think that will that help. I don't think so. You know, like if every day you like eat greasy food like that, oh my god, that's a nightmare. <laughs> so they were like you know what you, you join us from here onwards like you know uh for dinner well, like you know whenever you like you know we, we can and yeah we can you know like have food together so <clears throat> yeah everything goes pretty well and uh <clears throat> marine as we see like you know when she marine was going back she was again kind of like you know like embarrassed talking to gojo and everything like um yeah I, I i was really surprised that mine's completely like you know changing like this like you know now she's embarrassed to actually talk to him normally <laughs> so yeah it's kind of interesting i never expected this twist but yeah it's, it's kind of refreshing to see something like this okay so like you know like like the reason why i'm always like you know from from the, the beginning of the discussion i'm saying i'm surprised you know why because like i have seen a lot of animes like this where the girl you know or or the boy you know either of them is like the popular person here mine is a popular one and they like you know talk and interact with someone who is not that much popular and it's like you know like <clears throat> he he or she is um very quiet very like you know uh, stoic doesn't talk much doesn't have, doesn't have much friend they become friends you know and the person like you know like who 
who is stoic doesn't talk much that person realizes that oh i like that person but since he or she is so popular i cannot confess you know this this type of thing happens in most most mangas you know most shoujo mangas and every like you know these type of settings whichever animes has anime or manga has this type of settings always the popular person does not realize the the person who is not popular you know that person realizes their feelings first and they are like stuck in this dilemma that oh that person is so popular it's like an out of my reach i cannot confess that's how it usually goes and that's why i was extremely surprised here like mine here is the popular person and gojo is not so i was all like and i was i was i had this thing in my mind that gojo was going to realize the feelings first and he was going to be something like oh like i cannot you cannot confess because you know she's so popular she's so outgoing she has so many friends this and that so this is how i thought it was going to go because i'm accustomed to this type of a setting but that's why i was i was really surprised seeing that mine realized it first and uh, this this will probably change a lot of things like the way the relationship will progress this will change a lot of things and i'm looking forward to that how they're going to do like you know this story <clears throat> all right okay so then we get introduced to our newest characters character juju <laughs> that was her like you know i think cosplaying name yeah and oh my god the, the introduction was insane like you know the grandfather found her outside and like like <laughs> this is the thing with anime who keeps the door unlocked like what the hell like do these people don't know that like the bathrooms or like you know they have like a locking system do anime characters always forget that <laughs> Like each and every anime character always forget to lock the damn thing. Like, <laughs> why? What, what is this thing? I don't know. <laughs> but it's anime, you know? But, so yeah, as always, like, you know, Juju forgets to lock the door. And um, <laughs> Gojo comes in. Gojo's like, wait a minute, I don't even have any friends. What friends is my grandfather talking about? Maybe it's like a like scammer or something. Like which scammer or which con artist, the first thing that they do is like go inside your house and take a bath. Who does that? <laughs> this scene was ridiculous. It's hilarious, funny, ridiculous. Like the way Gojo thought that oh that was like you know the person who came here is like a con artist. Like it didn't strike him that a con artist doesn't come to your house and go to the bath room to take a bath. That never happens. <laughs> Like I never made a like you know like I I never got went through like a situation like this. But I I, I even I know that no con artist goes to your bathroom to take a bath. <laughs> That's the whole thing with Gojo. And as always, as I said, Juju, you know, like she goes to like a stranger's house. She she goes into the bath. I can understand. Obviously, it was raining and everything. She had fog or forgets to lock the door. Ridiculous. <laughs> this this whole scene was ridiculous. It was hilarious. <laughs> it's just. Now that I'm thinking about it even more, it's it's like you know hitting me like what was that? <laughs> but it's entertaining, you know. Like I don't have any problem with that. But yeah, as always, like you know, Gojo kind of gets in, <laughs> and she's like, he's like, oh my god, like yeah, I screwed up. And Juju also realized that, and yeah, as you as we saw, like you know, like the whole scene, like you know, she gets embarrassed, this and that, and comes out and she says that <clears throat> okay like i have come here to see the dresses and obviously gojo thinks like oh like like i, I can't blame him he thought that he was she was talking about hina dolls because you know like the making the cosplay thing is something that he and Marino only knew so i i think like that's why he didn't realize that he was she was talking about cosplay so she he was like okay so uh, yeah the Hina dolls okay come in like I'm going to show you and she starts showing everything Juju at the beginning Juju was like what's happening and then she also kind of gets into the whole thing she's like oh this is cute this is nice this is beautiful and <laughs> then she's like wait a minute what am I even doing I'm here to talk about cosplay not this and <laughs> it tells him like yeah I'm here for the cosplay and I want you to make something and and obviously Gojo's confused Gojo's like how did you get to know that and <laughs> she explains how she oh my god how she did that is like okay that that part comes later on okay I'll, I'll talk about it later but yeah she says like all right um you know I want you to make what did she say I forgot the name again Na so na 
Tan? No. I forgot the name. Anyways, like, you know, like, he, he wants him to make the cosplay of that Maho Shoujo, you know, like, the girl. And Gojo, is, Gojo here realizes that this is, like, Juju, the, that cosplayer that mine showed. And, like, honestly speaking, I even forgot about that. Like, you know, like, I, I, yeah, I, I do remember mine was talking about one, one of the girls. Yeah, in one of the previous episodes. And I kind of, like, you know, it struck me at that moment. Like, oh, it's that girl. So, <clears throat> obviously, she's a huge, like, you know, very famous cosplayer, I guess. And mine is, like, a big fan. So, <laughs> it's when mine comes in and uh, oh and then then this is when she uh, explains about how she found their house like she basically oh my god like from she got the whole thing from instagram i'm guessing and like in, in instagram like i guess mine explained that ah, i'm going to go to the cosplay convention she went to the cosplay convention like found mine out <laughs> followed them and then followed them to gojo's house my god like i wonder like you know you you know that scene in the train when they were sitting like in this episode where they were showing that scene again we can see like juju is just you know with that mask and the sunglasses watching from the other compartment i wonder if that was there in the previous episode I, i'll probably later on go back to the previous episode and see if she was also like you know over there that'll be kind of like a cool thing you know like <laughs> Like we never noticed if she was actually there in the previous episode as well we never noticed her and now that she's saying like oh i was there like and we are properly watching this scene we can see that yeah she was in the other compartment just you know kind of creeping from one of the sides <laughs> oh boy but anyways um mine comes in mine is just so hyped up with this whole situation she's like oh like you know the cosplay goddess is here <laughs> all that stuff and uh, okay shion tan shion and neon okay so <clears throat> what was the name of the anime flower princess blaze yeah so she says like i want gojo to make uh flower like you know shion nikaido yeah character who appears in flower, flower princess blaze i want him to make a character uh cosplay for her like you know for me which is on based on her and okay neon neon was the name of the sister wasn't it yeah neon neon onetama <laughs> neon onetama the way mine says the names i really like that you know obviously like you know like one <laughs> tama tama is like a more cute and endearing way to actually say one sama like not sama but tama and that's like just like how shizuku tan it's not Tan, it's supposed to be Shizuku-san, but you know, like in an endearing way, people call her Shizuku-tan. And just like that, Neon not One-sama, but One-tama. So, <laughs> like, you know, I love how, like, you know, mind kind of says that always. You know, everyone, like, you know, all the suffix, he kind of add as Tama or Tan. <laughs> These type of, like, you know, endearing way of calling them. But yeah, so... Now, <laughs> the anime, we were like, you know, getting to see like a little snippet of that anime where like, you know, like Neon and uh, Shion were kind of, like, you know, fighting against each other. And my God, like, I feel like this, this whole, like, you know, the, this anime, this Flower Blaze, whatever the name was, um, this whole thing is like fusion of so many animes. First of all, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be like like a part, an aspect of Ma Madoka Magica was taken. You know, that whole floating pet, that definitely is Kyube from Madoka Magica. I'm pretty sure of it. That's probably how they intended to do it, I'm guessing. Um, and then like, you know, the little thing that kind of blackened, obviously that was also, I'm, I'm guessing, can, can be taken from Madoka Magica, you know, the, the thing. I forgot the name, what they called it. You know, the thing that kind of got darkened soul gem i think that was what it is called was it called soul gem i forgot in madoka magic it's been a while i've watched madoka magica so yeah when it like you know like kind of um darkens and everything like and the, the... okay this will be a spoiler i i, I can't say that <laughs> but anyways <laughs> spoiler from madoka magica 
Um, so yeah, like I, I, I can see like, you know, they probably took parts of from that and the girl, Neon, she looks, her dress looks completely like um, that girl from um, 86. You know, the, like I've, I've always like from the big moment I saw the opening and I saw that dress, I was like, wait a minute, is, this is the dress from uh, 86. You know, this girl, like the white hair and everything, the, the cap and everything. And like, if you think about it, we also saw this dress before from um, another show, Recreators, if you've watched it, the main girl, I think the main girl who comes in later on, also has kind of wears this dress, you know, with this jacket, hat, you know, and with the white hair, as far as I can remember. Yeah, in, in Recreators as well. So this kind of reminded me of that. But yeah, like it's like a you know, mixture of the different <laughs> animes I feel like and okay so now <laughs> okay so <laughs> like okay this part oh my god this part was like uh, we see like you know like the, in the anime like you know they were like fighting and everything that the, the, the thing blackened the you know like the, the color of the heart or whatever they were saying okay the the girl goes to a transformation, Shion, I think, and Neon was also there. Neon says <laughs> The popularity of the Nikai the sisters exploded among grade school girls and adult males when it originally aired. Okay. Where is that part? The whole shipping, oh my god. The whole shipping. Like, <laughs> oh, like, this is the thing with animes, you know, like, um, a lot of, like, animes which have made, like, a lot, lot of characters and which, where the relationships are kind of ambiguous. Um, <clears throat> this whole shipping thing, like, you know, like, I, like, you know, previously, I kind of, like, you know, well, was, like, in the, if you guys remember, like, the whole, in, in, in the Naruto days, like, the, the biggest ship war was b between Naruhina and Narusaku. And like, you know, someone like uh, that, like that whole thing, Sakura and, or Hinata, this, that, all that stuff, you know, like, like, I, I do remember, I, I'm me also kind of like, you know, uh, I rooted for Hinata, obviously, like, you know, like, <laughs> so I also remember I also did that at that time. And then there was like a lot of other things as well, like then came ReZero later on, like in the whole thing with Emilia or Rem, this, that, this whole shipping thing. Um... But now that I see, like, you know, this whole thing, shipping kind of, like, okay, now I'm not saying, like, you know, this, like, and I'm not going against people, like, people have different, uh, like, you know, what, what can I say, like, opinions about these and everything. But in my opinion, now, like, that I'm seeing this, like, this thing really, what can I say, like, it's, it's like a weird thing, like, you know, this whole shipping thing. It's a very weird thing where, like, you know, people just ship random characters with each other. And, um, like, I'm not, as I'm saying, like, you know, different people have different opinions about this. And, like, I, I'm not saying, like, yeah, it's, it's wrong to ship people, like, you know, ship characters. You're free to do that. But when people get so heated up with that, that it actually kind of, like, you know, gets a little bit toxic. Like, I've seen a lot of this whole thing. I won't mention the names of the sh so, like, particular shows, but I know what is happening, like, and what happens in the anime community. And like, and I, I won't say the names because if I say the names, it, it, it'll become a problem. And I don't want to get into this whole thing. But it, it kind of becomes like ridiculous with where this whole shipping thing kind of takes the community into like a toxic cesspool. And like, it, it can like, like, you know, like this, like now I realize like, yeah, you, you should definitely not like, you know, go into this whole shipping thing. Like, it's nice to like, you know, have preference, but not like this, like, you know, like, we can see here this chart that she puts up there's like so many <laughs> arrows like childhood friends sisters rivals siblings bffs dating brainwashed there's like like arrow going through the pet as well the pet also probably has some <laughs> ridiculous you know, this this whole thing and my god like this this really kind of shows like you know like the whole thing about shipping how this is and as i said like you know people are free to ship but whenever this whole thing kind of goes into like toxicity that's when we actually have a problem you know like keep it within yourself 
and like you know have fun discussing uh, about ships and everything but don't get toxic about it that's basically it you know it, it actually hurts the whole like you know thing but anyways i went on a complete different thing because like you know like i've seen like people like say stuff and like you know like becoming toxic about about this whole shipping thing and that that's really not good but anyways who am i to like you know give advice to people like yeah <laughs> Uh, okay anyways um so yeah like she starts explaining about the whole like you know anime and everything juju is like oh she i thought she was like you know just that person who doesn't like anime and just does this for the fame or whatever but she's such a good nice girl you know like she 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 really genuinely likes this thing i was so like you know harsh about her and just one sidedly thought that she is a bad person and she's like you know apologizing within her heart and she's like i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> I misunderstood you. I, I judged a book by its cover. Like, you know, like, she was saying that. And yeah, obviously, like, you know, mine is like the most hardcore uh, person here in the anime and in Eroge. Like, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> like, you know, I don't know how she will react to when, you know, like, she starts talking about, like, you know, her favorite Eroge's. You know, I'm talking about Juju, how Juju will react to when she starts talking about her favorite Eroge's and everything. And just, you know, like, like I'm pretty sure Juju herself will also be overwhelmed with her intensity. <laughs> yeah, she, I think she's like I think most probably mine is the like most hardcore person. It's in, in this anime or you know in this type of like you know these like these things like anime or ero gay or cosplaying. He, she's the most hardcore out of all the characters here. Um, <laughs> but yeah. Um, okay, so then like, you know, like um, uh, Juju kind of uh, change, like, exchanges the numbers and everything and she's like, okay, don't like, you know, worry about it. Like, it's just, we are changing numbers just because of the size and everything. I should give him information. Um, I'm not trying to, you know, and <laughs> yeah, mine was confused. Mine was like, what's happening? And she's like, wait, you two are not dating? And my god, the way Jojo reacted, and not Jojo, sorry, Gojo. <laughs> Did I just call him Jojo? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gojo. <laughs> the way the way Gojo reacted to that. Just in a like, full red face and just like started uh, you know like stuttering and just went out. She's like, oh, nothing like that is happening. Wrong idea. And while uh, Marin is just like, you know, happy, just, <laughs> you know, kind of smiling face, like, you know, sneering, smiling with an embarrassed face. And now then here's where, uh, like, you know, like this thing happens. Marin says like, okay, so you're doing Xion. Can I do Neon? And um, Juju is like, no that's how it ended now i i did think like you know mine was going to cosplay neon because the opening kind of shows that maybe that will happen who knows you know like but juju is saying no here maybe she'll like, convince her or something and probably in the future episodes we'll see but yeah now this is one thing that i'm kind of concerned about like uh, you know what but yeah like now <laughs> She, uh, mine is not like you know cosplaying anything this time i'm guessing probably only for juju so like i was going to say like you know wouldn't this like you know take too much time of gojo like you know gojo has his own thing as well like you know he like hina dolls and everything so like making another cosplay for another person like up until now it was only shizuku not shizuku oh god marin it was only marin that you know like he made dresses for now if like there's like another character joins in like, wouldn't this become, like, a bit too, uh, what can I say, like, packed up for him? I don't know, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, that was it. That was my reaction to episode number six of My Dress Up Darling. Another fantastic episode. I'm loving these episodes. And I'm really looking forward to what's going to happen with this relationship and this whole thing. So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. This is my reaction to My Dress Up Darling episode number six. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe. If you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so, yeah that was it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of my dress up darling so until then goodbye and have a nice day